Well, if you've been to the beach, you know that this is happening. Red tide is moving up to another part of our coastline. Florida Fish and Wildlife says it is near Passa Grill, Reddington Beach, Reddington Shores and Indian Shores. For now, though, these are mild levels, so the county health department hasn't issued any health advisories just yet. But if you go to the beach, you can you can feel it. You're going to be coughing there. There have been reports of dead fish. So how does red tide affect you and what does this mean for you and anyone who lives near the beach? Let's take a deeper dive right now. And for starters, if you have severe or chronic respiratory conditions like emphysema or asthma, the Florida Health Department says you need to avoid red tide areas. And we're not just talking about places like the beach where it is. According to Moat, toxins can travel up to a mile, even away from the beach inland, depending on wind direction and weather patterns. So if you live near the beach and you start to feel some irritation, Moat says keep your windows and doors closed, keep the air conditioning or heat on, make sure you check or change your unit's air filter regularly.